So let's look at the following example. At what distance from the Earth will a spaceship traveling from the Moon to Earth feel no net force due to gravity of both objects, the Earth and the Moon? So let's suppose we have the following diagram. So we have the Earth, we have the Moon, and we have the following spaceship that is traveling directly from the Moon to the Earth along some horizontal. So let's say all these objects are on the same exact axis. So let's suppose this is the position of our spacecraft, of our spaceship, where it feels no net force. The net force on our object at this point is zero. So let's choose our distance from the spacecraft to our moon to be RSM and the distance from our spacecraft to the Earth is RSE where SE is simply spacecraft Earth and SM is simply spacecraft moon. So we want to determine what this distance is knowing that the distance from the surface of the Earth to the surface of the Moon is the following value. So it's 384 million 400,000 meters. So let's figure out what the net sum, what the forces are on our spacecraft. So we have one force acting that points in the direction of the Earth and that's the gravitational pull of the Earth on our spacecraft. At the same time, we also have the second gravitational force due to the Moon pulling on the spacecraft in the opposite direction. So let's choose going this way to be positive and going this way to be negative. So the sum of all the forces acting on our object is equal to the force of the Earth minus the force of the Moon. And this entire thing equals zero. So we can use our universal law of gravitation to replace our forces in the following format. So this force is equal to the gravitational constant multiplied by the mass of the uh, spacecraft m multiplied by the mass of the Earth divided by the distance, this distance squared, minus the gravitational constant multiplied by the mass of the object, our spaceship, multiplied by the mass of the Moon, divided by our distance between the spacecraft and the Moon squared. Now this equals zero. So let's bring this guy to the right side and leave this at the left. So we get the following result. Notice our masses and g's appear on both sides. So we can cross these out. And then after we rearrange our equation, we get the following ratio. So the ratio of this length to this length is equal to the square root of the mass of the moon divided by the mass of the earth. So these are constants and we know what they are. The mass of the moon is 7.35 times 10 to the 22 kilograms and the mass of the earth is 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. So we divide, we take the square root and we get the ratio of this length to this length to be 0.111. So that means in order to get the other ratio, this ratio to this ratio, we simply subtract this number from 1. So 1 minus 0 0.111 multiplied by this entire distance gives us the distance from our spacecraft to the moon. And it's approximately 3.4 times 10 to the 8 meters. So when our object, when the spaceship is found this distance from the uh, surface of the Earth, the spacecraft or spaceship will feel zero net force.